Welcome to our brand new season of anime summer 2024 here and we got a tier list This tier list is supposed to be what I found most enjoyable according to the most recent episodes of anime Okay, that's what we're going off of. We have the peak tier. We have great. We have good We have mid and dookie and trash. This is a list of animes that we're not watching currently and this is the list of animes that's in stage that we have watched. All right, first up first. This anime, um, it's actually not airing yet. I, I think that this is the... Um, uh, no, no, this is Last Crusade, right? We can't watch Last Crusade yet because, like, we're still watching season one. So I'm going to put this at the bottom of NA because, like, you know, we, we're still catching up. We'll wait for season two, okay? Giji Harem? Let's put it at the top of great for now. I don't want to be giving out peaks too easily. I, last season, we were giving out peaks left and right. It needs to be relative. If everything is peak, nothing is peak. But I am confident that this is minimum great tier. And these are subjected to change later on as we adjust different animes. Giji Harem, I... Based on the synopsis on Annie Chart, it sounded really bad, but it was way better. I didn't realize that the whole idea of a pseudo harem is basically like, yeah. You have this one girl, and she's gonna have all these different personas, and like, this is gonna be the harem with one girl. You have Sundere-chan, you have Imp, you have Kudere, you have maybe Yandere, maybe you'll get like a Milfi character later. It's pretty good. The main character, did he deserve it? I don't think so. Um, Otoko Noko. So, first episode? I'd say it's pretty good. I think this is a deeper story than I expected. This anime was way too real. It's basically gender dysphoria. Guy doesn't know, you know, wh how he's accepted. Back at home, you know, he can't be cross-dressing. At school, he can, and, and he changes before he goes home, and then he says, good night, mean, and like, oh, this is gonna be so sad, man. I can definitely see that it's gonna be a good story, but uh, based on the performance, we have decided to drop. I'm sorry. It is what it is. At least we checked out episode one, right? Oh, son, adventurer. So... The cutoff is on Monday. I know episode 2 dropped today, but it's not counting. We're talking about last week's list, okay? Osan Adventure? I'll put it in like... Was that great or good? It's just typical power fantasy. You know, dude gets looked down, but he's actually super strong. He doesn't know how strong he is. There's all these other people that looks down on him, then he flexes. It was a pretty enjoyable episode. I think that like... I'm gonna put it at the top of good tier for now. I don't think it was like overall like peak. I think that it's a pretty standard episode. It didn't do anything that we've never seen before. It was an enjoyable watch for sure. Was it actually that good? I'm not too sure. It was funny. Maybe I should put it later at the bottom of great tier, right? I'm gonna put it in top of good. Again, these are subjected to change relative to other animes we place later on. Elusive Samurai. Now, this is not on YouTube yet. It will be tonight. We just watched it today. I'm putting this shit on peak, bro. The amount of effort and dedication put into this anime. Not even talking about the story. Like, like the quality of the anime, the polish. Oh, only Oshinoko I, and with story, I think I keep up with this. The story itself is actually really good too. It's like son of a clan that's been backstabbed. Now you're supposed to take revenge and become this like warlord. But you're only eight years old. You have this crazy fake shaman that has future side apparently. Gojo Satoru is here to guide you so that you can take down Takauji. I would comfortably put episode one in peak. Roshidere? Yeah, I put it in peak too. Roshidere? So like, is it great or peak? Is, is it? If we're talking about performance, if we're talking about numbers, this is the best performing show right now. It is mind-boggling how much this anime, like, has been, like, anticipated on the YouTube side. Like, it's just a rom-com, but Russian. That's all it took? Well, it's not as simple as that, right? It seems to be a little bit more deeper. Right now, we're, like, confused on who the childhood friend was that we had to learn Russian with. It looks like Arya, but she has like different hairstyle. Arya also has a sister. We also have a sister. She seems very cultured. The fan service, it's, 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 it's there all right. The polish, it's, it's a pretty vibrant anime. I think that... I'll put it in peak. Yeah, you know what? First episode, it went pretty hard. It went pretty hard with the sock and everything. I'll put it in peak. All right, all right. 2.5D Ridisa. Basically, uh, my dress up darling, but the bro doesn't, he's a cameraman. Um, it was pretty decent. 
I, I put it in like mid or good, you know, it, it's, it's alright, it was fun to watch. It's some fan service here and there and a girl that's pretty based, right? The girl character is extremely based and it's like, what? I love fan service too, you know what? I can appreciate that. But unfortunately due to um, our channel trying to be as safe as possible with this newest, you know, uptake, we are gonna be uh, putting this in the drop tier. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. We gotta be extra careful right now. I'm sorry. This is an anime that uh, we're not watching right now. Why is this even here? We're not even watching this shit. Get out of here. This has not aired yet. This anime is gonna be airing tomorrow. Isekai Shukaku, the guy that wants to die but can't die. It's highly anticipated. I think it's gonna do very well, but it hasn't had an episode yet. So I'm gonna put it at the bottom of NA for here for now. Uh, days with my stepsis. I can objectively say that it is a high quality anime, but my enjoyment, was it peak? Was it the same as Roshidere and Samurai? No. But like, I can acknowledge that it's a very good anime. Like, it is a stunning anime. It's it's not a cheap harm, uh, it's not a cheap uh, incest story either. It is a genuinely good story that they're trying to, you know, flesh out. And I can appreciate that. I can put this in like the great tier. I'm a monkey though, and I want things to be happening all the time. And I, I, I'm too ADHD brain to appreciate a guy just, you know, taking off his shoes and walking to his room. So I'll put it below Giji Haram, I guess. I don't know. Next anime. Tower of God, I'm putting this in peak, baby. Oh yeah. Tower of God is a nice project that we've been working on in our channel. I am fully immersed. We are locked into the plot. Might I say... Narcissist most incoming. Nobody understands Tower of God like me. Nobody in the anime reaction space is giving Tower of God the love it deserves like me. That's what I'm saying. Nah, that's that's a little that's a little audacious. That's that's a little audacious. At the end of the day, a reaction is simply subjective, right? It, who I, I I'm de I'm definitely super immersed into it. Like I try to give a fuck. I hope that you understand that. Like I'm actually trying to really really care about this show because like I think it deserves it. The amount of plot, the amount of lore, the amount of just world building in this. Like, I am locked in every episode. I'm like trying to understand everything, dude. Like, I mean, I, I don't think it's fair to say that I'm the only one that caught on Wang Nan's name saying Cha Wang Nan. You spell it, you know, pronounce it backwards as I am Prince because that's like a Korean skill issue, right? You either are Korean or you're not. So it's, it's unfair, right? But like, I think that last episode was fantastic. It was a little bit off with like, who the hell is this Wang Nun character? Where is my boy Bomb? Where is my Blue Turtle and Rack? Where is the regular squad we have? We're not gonna see them for a while because we're kind of separated, right? We're doing the 20th floor test and we're getting a new group of people to work with them. Bomb, he's not saying much and he's completely changed, cold, ruthless. Bro was ready to kill everybody. What kind of training did he go through? A bug slayer? I need to know more. Next, we have Wistoria. Wistoria, dude? Holy shit. The trailer had me sold, but the trailer performance is bad. And I was like, oh man, maybe an audience isn't there for you too. But a trailer is not the final decision of whether or not a show is going to do well, right? It's just another signal. But first episode, you can just tell that the studio that animated this gives a fuck. They care a lot about this show. I just was, it was stunning. The visuals were stunning. The combat stunning, the whole looked down on because he's like, you know, can't use magic, but he's actually OP in something else. This is not a trope or a formula that we haven't seen before, right? We've seen multiple variants of this, but I just love this. I just need more variants of this. I'll, I'll fucking eat it up. With story at first episode, fantastic, and I'm so glad on the YouTube side, it did well as well. Thank you so much for delivering on Wistoria. Next up, uh, what the hell is this? I don't think we're watching this anime, right? Do we know this one? Is this failure frame? Oh, this is failure frame? Okay. I will put failure frame on great tier. The CGI was passable in the first half. In the second half, they decided to just show their true colors, which I'm a little worried about. <laughs> Maybe it should be in top of great tier. Good tier. No, I'm talking about my enjoyance. My personal en en enjoyance, bro. Like, oh my god. Like... In all of Isekai setups, this is my favorite template where you get summoned, not reincarnated with the rest of your class where you got bullied in. 
this formula works so fucking well because like immediately you're just thrown into this new social hierarchy who are the cool kids who's the losers who's the bully who's the school shooter who's the giga chat of the classroom who's the wife who's like everything about this i just love so much i don't know how to explain it i just it just resonates so deep within me. Our main character is going to be the most OP debuff character. The goddess is an absolute piece of shit. We give her the double finger. Apparently, well, it's a, it's a single finger, but I gave her the double flip. I thought that first episode premise was fantastic. Set up for a great revenge story. I enjoyed it. Now, the problem is, will it like be like Ari Furata? Where like the first couple episodes, it's amazing because like, oh, amazing to me because I enjoy that layout. But then as soon as you start fucking around with CGI monsters that I don't really care about in a labyrinth that I don't care about, like, it's gonna get boring for me. The only reason that I enjoyed Ari Furata was for the scenes outside a labyrinth, when we're, like, interacting with the classroom, you know, the classmates that look down upon us, but we're so different now. Those are the peak moments in Ari Furata for me. And in Failure Frame, if it's gonna be stuck in the labyrinth away from the other, you know, students, that's gonna start being weak. So, we'll hopefully, hopefully they'll, they'll have a good idea on how to handle that. Now, the strongest mage, I'm gonna put it in good tier. So far, two episodes have aired, and it's getting heavily carried by the waifus. I understand their premise. It's a guy that's wanting, you know, coexistence, peace between the humans and demon race. There's a little bit of mystery on what happened in the previous civilization before you know, the shitty demon lord, you know, came into place, which is obviously the coexistence between demons and humans, which was an enlightened civilization, then everything went to shit. And now our boy Ike is trying to relight those candles. It's been all right. It's been all right. Maybe it's mid. I'll just put it on good. I'll just put it on good. The cunny mate does carry. The, the mate is very cute. The kid anime? Bottom of mid? Mid? Bottom of... No, top of mid, bottom of good. It was wholesome. Right? Did anything crazy happen? No. We're just chilling. We're just reading the kids. That's it. Like, it's not supposed to be anything deep. We're just vibing. Chilling, having a fun time. I, I think it's mid. It wasn't bad. It wasn't amazing. We just put the kids to child labor. It's all right. Now, there is a second episode we're going to watch tonight, actually. We're, we're going to watch that as well. It, it did actually pretty decent. So we'll have to let, give it some time. But first episode, eh, it was all right. It wasn't like spectacular. It wasn't bad either. It was just, we're just chilling with the kids. PBW Elf. <laughs> BBW Elf. Also, why is there a trash tier here? This should be like dropped actually. And uh, we're gonna have to put this there. And what else was dropped? Uh, this anime was dropped, right? Because it was fan service. I'm sorry, guys. It wasn't because it's bad. Is there any other anime that's got dropped by me? I think that's it for now. Um, I thought that the first episode was fun. It was just stupid fun, right? Like, BBWL, it was just stupid fun. But, like, the reason that I'm dropping it, um, just to get serious for a second. Recently, our channel on YouTube, it's exploding. Like, the last three months was amazing. We had another uptick three months ago. And I was like, wow, like, YouTube full-time might be working. We just had another one of those moments three days ago. And now it's like, I need to do everything I can to make sure... I, I don't fuck this up. And I don't want to be reacting to etchy scenes. Uh, there, there, there's this whole problem with like limited ads and all these other bullshit that happens with too much loot animes. Before we kind of raw dogged it, right? But I, I'm at a point where I, I cannot be fucking around. We, I need to be like really locked in. And I don't think we need to rely on these animes to have a fun time here either. I think there's plenty of anime that's going to do well. If you've seen, and I've told Sir Gregor this, this is an intentional thing for me. As soon as there's like, Fan service moments coming in, it's gonna get cut from the YouTube section. For the next three months, like, it's gonna be church purity. On Patreon, everything is fine. On Patreon, you will see all the fan service shit. But on the YouTube side, expect there to be a heavily censorship of fan service. Beach episodes, hospital episodes, I can't be fucking around. And I don't think that you need those fan service moments to enjoy the reactions either. If you wanna jack off, go do it by yourself. We're not here to do that, okay? That's what's going on right now. Lolly leveling. Um. Mid? Mid? Was it peak? 
first episode. We're gonna watch episode two tonight as well. We're gonna watch episode two tonight. I know it's a double episode for the kid anime and the lolly leveling. It was... Nothing special. Solo leveling style. Main characters hunting slimes. But like, I put it in good. Yeah, no, 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 no. Now that I think about it, the animation, the soundtrack, the voice acting, everything was pretty on point. And the summon the lolly, eh. Not, I'm not a, I'm not a lolly enjoyer. They're cute, but it's like I'd much have, rather have milfs. I, I, I'll put this in good tier for now. There, yeah, it shows some promise. Apparently, the manga readers are saying this shit's actually great. The manga re readers are saying, dude, you got no clue. Just like let it cook. I will let it cook. But for the first episode, I think it's fair to put it in this tier. Yeah. Next, uh, this is not airing yet. This is another anime that's gonna be airing pretty soon. So, it's gonna be waiting just with Last Crusade and Isekai Shukaku. Perry anime? Bottom of great or top of good? I'll put it on bottom of great. I enjoyed this. This is the anime that I had the highest expectations for because I just love the concept. And it did deliver. Bro, not only did he parry for 14 years alone, which the training made no sense, by the way. Like, the training made no sense. A parry is something that you do to counter an attack, but bro was just swinging that fucking wooden sword. It's hung up on trees like it's laundry. But the idea is that every time he swung the swords, then the swords would start dancing around in the wind and you're parrying that. I think that's what the point is, but the anime didn't really do a good job portraying that. You don't need to, you know, explain that in a good way to make a sense, but I was like, what's going on here? Um, so basically the guy just was outcasted by every group of school he went to, and he only knows how to parry. Well, he has, like, light fire, light healing, stuff like that, but not good enough to join anything. And then he decided to, you know, take up a job as an F-rank adventure, just cleaning up the pipes, the sewer pipes. He's basically on dookie duty. And then, and then, you know, then it got serious, right? Then he actually saved the princess against the Minotaur, but he doesn't realize how strong he is. He just thought it was like a shitty cow. Like, he has no idea how powerful he is. He parries the Minotaur, and he also parries the princess's, you know, request as well. Bro is living up to his name. I, I think it was a pretty enjoyable episode. I'm gonna put it at uh, uh, here. I think this is a fair place to put it. Isekai Suicide Squad was good to mid. I think that, like, the initial lure, I'm glad that I checked it out from the beginning. I'm glad that we farmed out a Amanda Waller ending. That was amazing, right? But unfortunately, we are going to have to drop the anime as well. The performance of this show is extremely bad. And I think that the anime was not supposed to be an amazing story. It was just supposed to be, hey, you know Suicide Squad? Well, we're going to put them in a generic Isekai story. And it's not bad, but it's not amazing either. And you're supposed to, you know, enjoy Suicide Squad just fucking shit up. And I could kind of understand that. But obviously to a wider audience of weebs. They're like, where's the shit that gets good? Well, you know, it's a, it, it's just Suicide Squad fan service. And you, if you're not into it, it's just, it is what it is. The ending does slap, absolutely. I would say best ending of the season. Unfortunately, it's dropped. Oh, she no ko! Oh, she no dookie. Dookie no ko. Nah, I'm kidding. I'm kidding. It's at least mid. Oceano oh, mid. Mid no code. No, I'm kidding. I'm kidding. It's it's gonna be at least dropped. Yup. No, I'm kidding. I'm kidding. I'm, get the fuck all the way up here, bitch. It's Oceanoko. What are you expecting? What 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 do you want me to say? It's just, it's just the anime of the fucking season, I think. Well, I'm not sure if that's fair to say, but Oshinoko is just such a mega title, right? It's just, it's just a giga title. Everyone's, everyone knows Oshinoko. Season 1 has such an impactful start, and it captivated the hearts of everybody. Season 2, and like, the craziest thing is Oshinoko... Well, I think that like, Oshinoko... It's like... All we're doing is talking about theater and acting, yet they're able to keep it so engaging. How is this possible, right? Like, think about what's actually happening in Oshinoko. Nothing's happening. We're just fucking doing rehearsals. We're just talking about drama and theater. But like, the way that they tell the story and introduce these different characters, Himekawa, 
Don't worry, we have him. Akane's whole struggle of understanding how she can portray her character, even though the manga, you know, made her to be a shitty character. Like, all that stuff, it's so good. I, I can confidently put this in the peak tier. Now, I probably enjoyed Tower of God more than Oshinoko. I probably enjoyed Wistoria more than Oshinoko. But I think Oshinoko is definitely in the peak tier. For sure it is. For sure it is. And then we have Nokotan. <laughs> Should I just create a separate tier called Deer Tier? I feel like Oshinoko... I feel like Nokotan should just get a separate tier called Deer Tier. Because, like... Like, like... Like, no joke. Like, what is Oshinoko? Like, Nokotan. There's no story. It's just... Deer exists. And it's just cunny slice of life. Just cute girls doing crack things, right? That's... It, this isn't cute girls doing cute things. This is cracked girls doing crack things. I feel like you can't really judge a story like that, right? But you can just kind of feel like, how much did you actually enjoy the story? Oh, I mean, how much did you enjoy the episode? Just nonsensical fun. Did you just turn your brain off and enjoy it? Yeah? It was just stupid fun. Just hilarious fun. Is there a deeper story behind it? Maybe there is. Maybe there's a twist, right? All the different fourth wall breaking, all the cunny moments with Nokotan. Yeah, it's probably just going to slide into great if not, you know, fucking... I don't know. Is, is it fair to put, put it in, in peak tier with these? It's just nonsensical fun. I feel like... It, it, Nokotan deserves a separate tier so that the other animes can be, like, protected from its Nokotan's bullshittery of it being in the same peak tier without having to work for it. Because, like, it just has an excuse because it's just a dumb show just to have dumb fun. And, you know, it, it, it just deserves, like, a deer tier. So if there is a different deer tier, maybe I'll just create one. I'll, I'll, I'll literally just call it, like, a deer tier. So what, every week we just put it in deer tier and say it's done? I mean, I guess we do, huh? Like, I'll create another tier next time. It, it's just deer tier. It, it's, it's just not fair to, like, compare it with actual enemies that's, like, giving a fuck and trying to put a good story. But Nokotan's objective isn't to do that. Nokotan is just to have nonsensical fun. Don't worry about it. Turn your brain off and enjoy. And for that, what, what it worth, I think it's peak. And that pretty much is this week's tier list for summer 2024. In peak tier, you got all these six. Not in order. I'm not sure. In great tier, I'm comfortable to put these four up there. In good tier, yeah. Mid, I will give this show a little bit more time. And there wasn't anything in Dookie. And these shows, I'm sorry again. For the reason that I explained, we have to drop it. And like, like, BBW Elf and Rydia said, it's not even a performance issue. It's, it's just, I'm trying to be careful as possible. And Isekai Squad, 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 it's just a performance issue. And D3, we're waiting for D3 to drop this coming week. And that's pretty much it. Remember, this tier list is a reflection of my own personal enjoyance of summer 2024. If you want to cry about it, go cry. Cry in the wine in the comment section and boost my engagement. Please do it.